Messy games, the fun car Grand Prix race, and a crazy chase to win lots of prizes. Now here's the guy that puts the fun in Fun House, Pat Shaw. Yo, welcome to New Fun House. How are you doing? Do you remember? I remember the first time I came. It was four years ago, and I did the show, and the boss said you just need three things to succeed. I said, if I had three things, I wouldn't be here, I'd be in a circus. And this is the Fun House! <laughs> now, we always promise you two good-looking twins, but we don't have them today, so put up with Melanie and Martina! Yeah! How do they shake them so much? That's the big question, guys. Bring on the players, girls! Martina, my friend, who have you got this week? I have Miriam and Ben. They come from Yorkshire and they both attend the Longcroft School, Beverly! Yeah! And Sister Mel for the Hot Rockin' Reds has. I have Sheena and Robert and they're from Windsor and they attend the Trevelyan Middle School. Yeah! All right, Miriam is first. How do you do? Are you okay? Hi, Pat. Good, nice to see you. Your nickname is Miz. Yep. What impressions can you do? I can do something with my tongue. Oh, good. Go on, then. Oh. <laughs> do that again for us. Go on. That's right. I hope the wind doesn't change. That's really good. <laughs> right, Ben is here as well. And um, your favourite TV programmes? Fun House. Good, good. Mm, football. Football. You're into the football and stuff. What would you do with a million quid? Spend it. No. Well, that's no. a good answer, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll accept that. That's a very good answer. Well done. And we move on now to Robert, who's uh, Robert the Red, uh, nicknamed Boz. Yeah. And into rugby and collecting what? Oh, there's like these Citadel miniatures. Yeah. They're like these little lead men that you collect and you make like scenery with them and everything. All right. Well, that's interesting. That's good stuff. And we also have Sheena who's here. Hello. Hello. How are you? Fine, All right. Thanks. Now, what do you want to be when you grow up? An infant teacher. All right. So uh, when you are old, you want to teach kids. Yeah. So now you're young, you can teach old people. Yeah. Good. <laughs> good luck to all our players today on the Fun House. Yeah! <laughs> So, just two rules here. One, you must get Gunji, and two, you must obey all the rules. Of which are, there are three games worth 25 points apiece. Then we get questions after each one, giving you another 25 points. If you get those right, then it's the Fun Cart Grand Prix, and then into that new fun house to run around and pick up on the power prize and all the other goodies in there. The first game is called Baby Boom. It's for the boys. Let's go play! Yeah! Now, this is going to be a real exciting game. It lasts for one minute. The whole idea of the game, if you have a look inside the Gunji pit here, is to, you're going to get their nappies on and stuff, and you go, oh, no, I can't believe they're getting in already. <laughs> they're getting dirty before they even start. What you've got to basically do is crawl around because your little baby's in your playpen, and you've got to push the balloons to alternate sides, one by one, smashing them like this. Oh, sorry about that. That was a bad start, I know, but I'm still fairly clean, which is a good start. You won't have a dummy to do it, because you'd be a dummy if you would. But all you've got to do is use your noses to push the balloons to each of the bars, alternately as you go. That bar, if you break one, then that set of bars, then this set of bars, and that way round, OK? The one who bursts the most with a little Pinocchio nose is the star winner in 60 seconds. Don't be a dummy. Go well for your mummy. Go! <laughs>
<laughs> Way to go, without a doubt. Ben and Robert just didn't care. Come over here and stand next to me. Turn around a bit, because I just want to see how far you are. No, don't use the towel. This is fun house. There's no <laughs> cleaning. You are right? Oh, and you thought you were messy when I started on you, eh? So, we need to know the scores. Reds, please. We have nine! Yeah. Yeah. Yellows, please. We've got six! Red yeah. points! Let's regen the playpen! Woo! A Gunji start it was, and Lord Robert of Windsor has earned Queen Sheena and the red team 25 points! Yeah. OK, Miriam gets to play against Sheena now, not in a game, but in a question. So it's a game of brains. Good luck, girls. What is a baby horse called? <coughs> yellow. Foal. Foal is right, 25 yeah! points, yellow team. And we check the scoreboard, and we now see it's 25 apiece. Even Stevens! Yeah! And because it's so close, I think we all deserve a good rest now, an early dinner. Let's play head of the table, everybody, come on! Yeah! Now, the whole idea of this is that the girls get to eat the dinner, the guys are the waiters. Now, in Funhouse, as you know, being messy style, the girls are going to go under the table, poke their heads up through the table. I like it. OK, no problem. Then it'll be my job to show you what's happening here. So I will dip this in here just to give you a quick example. This is kind of gungy. Look at that. That basically is an ice cream, OK? This ice cream will be dipped in these various gungies and then sent across as quickly as possible into the different bowls. In other words, you're just collecting your own meals because our waiters are a little bit lazy. So get the headgear. I like the headgear. This is probably the smartest headgear I've ever seen, actually. Very nice. Very fruity indeed. You got that over there? <laughs> Let me give you a hand, young lady. I'll hold the top and you pull it down over her head, OK? Here we go. That's it. Fantastically done. 60 seconds to set the meal up and deliver as many ice creams as you can, OK? You've got to dip them first before you throw them. You've got to catch them. But you can't relax. Pick up the tables. Go, go! Oh, sorry about that. It's because we had all that trouble adjusting your hat. I just had to get my own back. So we need the news from the yellow team first of all here. We only managed to get one. That was the one, was it, down that there? That is the one there. Okay, that's still us. <laughs> one bit of ice cream is enough. And red news? And we only managed to get one. So what was this one? No. That doesn't count. It's in your fault. Oh, that's the one I did. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, I'm new to this, you know. This one. So it's a draw. Rescreen the ice cream. Yeah! Oh, hard game, but I thought you were going to pick the tables up, girls. It's been a bit heavy for you. 25 points each either way. Yeah! OK, here comes the question. It's just for the boys now. It's worth a further 25 points. It's Ben against Robert. Good luck. Press the buzzer as soon as you know. Don't shout it out. Which popular food is sometimes referred to as bangers? <laughs> Red. Um, sausages. Sausages is right. 25 yeah! points. Yes, OK. So the scores now stand. 50 to the yellow, 75. Red's in the lead. Yeah! Oh, yes, and thank you so much to Jamie in Harrow, who's just called and said, what's that on my shirt? It's meant to be like this. It is time for Ladder Adder. Come on. Yeah! 
this game even more spectacular than the last one you saw because there is gunge beyond belief. Let's have a look. The girls are going to be snake charmers. Ugh, look at that. <laughs> Eat your heart out, Indiana Jones. The only trouble is they won't be able to use their hands like me. They'll have to use their teeth. They will then have to climb through the ladder underneath. It's dripping as well. It'll go on your backs, out this side, drop it into the snake charmer's pit, and, um, oh, I think I could sing a little tune for this as well while I'm here, couldn't I? I could... Oh, key game, no problem. <laughs> it's a very bad impression of the Funhouse theme tune, wasn't it? That means you have 60 seconds. The runners-up also get points. On your marks, get set, sneak the snakes. <laughs> Down there. I don't know whether I'd rather be the snake or the ladder. I think they're both pretty hideous. Well, uh, you can come over here. Come on, Sheen, you're doing all right. You're looking good. You can spit the snake out now, love. There we go. How many for the reds, Mel? We have one, oh, two, <laughs> three! Three! <Yeah! laughs> and for the yellows, Marty? One, oh. two, <laughs> three, four! Yellow yeah! points! It is so messy today. Key game as well. Three points to the Reds, well done, but 25 to the Yellows. Yo! And here's a question for the boys. So get set, press this, and then you're onto the Fun Cart Grand Prix next. In which of the continents would you find the huge snake, the anaconda, North or South America? South. Yes! 25 yeah! points, Yellows! Well done, congratulations to you. So the scores on the doors now show 78 reds in the lead, 100 the yellows. Yeah! Time to drive the whole world wild. It's the Fun Cart Grand Prix. Bring them on, girls. Well, would you honestly go for a Sunday afternoon drive with those two at the wheel? I think probably not, but it doesn't matter because you four will be driving and this is what you're after, the tokens. Ten-point tokens, grab them from the grabbing hands on the first lap. Second lap, go for the 25s, worth even more. Purple and turquoise, I believe, which isn't bad for somebody who's colorblind. And on the third lap, just go for gold, really, that checkered flag. First one across gets 25 points. Who is going first? Me, Pat. Me, Pat. One girl, one guy to the carts. So let's get it going. You set? Yeah! That's good, because I'm ready to hit the flag. Scores, 78 red, yellow 100 in the lead. Who's going into the front house on your mask? I say, go!
<laughs> oh, yes, what a race. Yellow points, 25. Hurry up, Robert. Go for it. Well done. Yeah! So, Miriam and Ben, congratulations to you for getting the big 25 points. Let's add them up and see how we get on now. First of all, the yellows. Why not? Let's go for you and see what we can add to your points. First of all, the 10s. Thank you very much, Martina. 30, 40, and some 25s. Look at this. 25, 50, 75, 100. Total score, 265. Yes! Yeah! And some reds. Thank you so much. Just the 110, but loads of 25, so let's have a look. Oh, hold on, don't get ambitious there. Thank you. No, you didn't get me, boom, now. It came back. Total score, 188. You're going into the front house! But, Robert and Sheena, nobody goes away empty-handed on this show, so congratulations, you get an Atari Lynx each. Not bad, is it? Right. So make sure you get that when you go out there, and also you'll get the jacket that she's wearing so beautifully. <laughs> and you can take your helmet as well and take her away. Well played. See ya. <laughs> so the good news for Miriam and Ben from Beverly in Yorkshire is that you are going into the funhouse, as I've told you. Excited about that? Yeah. All right. <laughs> we need you guys to come and join us. Yeah! Flash over the flying fox, and you'll hitch a helicopter ride. Fly down the fireman's pole and find a fantastic atlas and globe. Beat the buzzer bay and bag a badminton racket. Track through the tumbling tube and pinch a personal stereo. Nip through the net ladder and open a bank account. Focus on the fish bowls and catch your CD tokens. Pick up a pocket TV if you bobble down the bobsleigh. Munch through the motor mouths and take away a table tennis set. Tear through the balloon tunnel and throw a pizza party. A snooker cue's waiting for you in the slip and slide. Teach the test of strength how to grab a Game Boy bag and muddle through the monster maze to create a craft set. Be a danger man in a danger net and discover a mystery tour. Race down the Skelter Belter and saddle up for the riding lessons and walk on the wild slide and find a fitness outfit. So, some good prizes in there as you've seen. You looking forward to that lot? Yes. OK, here is what you do then. You run inside, you get the 15 prize tags that look like this. There's a quick example of one of them, OK? And when you grab them, if you're real lucky, one of them will contain details to the secret power prize and let you qualify to answer the question. What are the details, Gary? Take the plunge and learn the techniques of scuba diving in the exotic waters of the Red Sea. Scuba diving, eh? Scuba diving. 40 foot down, right Where's down. Where's the exotic sea? Where's the what? Exotic sea. The exotic sea? Yeah. Oh, the exotic sea, you'll find out that later. Oh, right. well, it's very <laughs> exotic though, I can assure you. So that's what it's all about. Now we need to know where it's hidden. Show us. It's sure. Aha. Uh -huh. So you at home know, but these two don't know. That's what it's all about, I'm afraid. Okay, the noise you'll need to hear when you grab the tag that's got the power prize is this. <laughs> And I want to know what you're going to be going for. Come on, what are you after? Power press, TV, uh, everything, really. Ben, a man who knows what he wants. Room? Um, the horse riding lessons, the mystery tour, and the power prize. Well, I wish you luck. Who's going first? Ben is. OK, so this is what you do. Two minutes to get inside there, OK? With your feet on the edge of the steps, you rummage around, grab Look three tags. No, you can get your feet there, that's fine. Three tags, OK? Come back, you've got to do the high five. Yeah. Practice. Yes. <laughs> That is the changeover point. Yeah. Just before you go, because we have got a couple of seconds spare before the end of the show, yeah. I'd like to make Martina laugh. There was an old man from Bengal who went to a fancy dress ball. He decided he'd risk it and went as a biscuit, but a dog ate him up in the hall. <laughs> On your marks, get set, go! <laughs>
can. Congratulations, Steve. That was fantastic. That was a really good run. We seem to have loads of price tags here. Come on, Ben, run for it. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Bendy Ben. Well played. Now, let's see what you've got. This is the good news, OK? Guaranteed. And remember, when I read these out, it's one each, OK? So you don't have to stay friends when you get home. You get a pocket TV each, which is real good, OK? You get a personal stereo. Your own bank account. With your own overdraft. Your own helicopter ride. That's brilliant. And CD tokens as well. Congratulations. So I suppose that's it, except for the power prize noise, which we heard. So bring on the question! Yeah! Yes! <laughs> He's in the mood now. He's ready to party. He wasn't sure if he got it or nobody has. So get in front of me a little bit, because I don't want you to cheat while I read these questions. OK? You can confer, OK? All right? You have 10 seconds to think about it and answer it. And that's it. If it goes blip, you're out of it. Oh. We're going for the scuba diving. Glug, glug, glug. <laughs> 40 feet under. I've done it before. It's amazing. <laughs> Sorry if I'm holding you up here. <laughs> here we are. Which three months of the year begin with the letter J? Think before you answer. January. June. July. Yeah! <laughs> 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 Well, I thought you were going scuba diving immediately. Congratulations to Ben and Miriam, the yeah! superstars from Beverly. Yeah! Have a nice day. See you later. Yeah! Physical fitness opting to fling it all away on an assault course. American Ninja Warrior is at eight tonight on Challenge. Use your body and your brain.